KC TV lawan rashipi da ka frank yamaha the maxi sport scooter aerox 155 ringkat baka net foodish ordar mapi ngin wan ramani hakir dob yeng jompi Ya kamet jong ba sam lang ha o shulai u balong wei ne kinong tem drom ba pau nam hakari india la tep don burom ha ka pratrik no pra arja ra pu ar hadin ba pelong ya ka jingle burom ba ka jingle niam ka ba du ha ying sa jong u ha umpling dong shaneng shillong la khai u ba sam lang ha ka arterik u risau khat kendai spa an ri pu lai ba u de khuon jong ba h persius rembai bam kwai ha da war blei ba ka kong aroma shulai Ula shong kurem e ka kong san drika ling do, bat yo armut ki kon kente, kata ka ari daka ling do, bat ka paya daka ling do. Uba samlang om tang ba ulong unong tem drom ba pau nam hakari india, henry wat shabar jong kari india. Haka jing lek niam bakat do e ka mat ka basa, la sa ki lang de ki nong tem, bat ki dekhot jong ka kun hon tem ki ba kentop uba rudi wa lang, uba felix lang stie, uba ribor mb, bat ki wei ki wei. Ia wan hengi penyulung sing si sem dan aku beli ini kasih ke bahrau, bat bayi pak suru nanti nasi yang lendek inang kerku kerdo ia kahing kesan kejungi yangi kepada hengi najan bat najengai nasi yang kini kalah ban ongi ti apaan jing bedu ban keren hak ketin pareng nak minta kipolog di pak su kipam snotho kipawan hak ini kasih. On this day we gather here to celebrate the life and legacy of Bah Sam Shulai. Or as we fondly known him, know him as Baashu, Baashu has touched ev every heart. He has left an indelible mark: a loving husband, a caring father, grandfathers to his children, an inspiration to his bandmates, a beautiful soul to those who have crossed paths. He has been a father figure to us, a brother, a friend we could always confide. We thank God for this beautiful day that He has given us this opportunity to congregate. And celebrate Bashu's life and legacy through songs, speeches, prayers, and hymns. Now I would invite Mr. Rudy Walang to kindly deliver his address. Well, it was way back in I think uh, 1983, <clears throat> 83 or 84, that I first met Sammy. Uh, it was in my mom's place. And uh, we were with a band called The Great Society. And uh, I remember there was a little shed at the back of the house where we used to rehearse. And Sam had come for an audition because we were looking for a drummer. And that was the first time I met Sammy. He was still young. <clears throat> I was maybe 18 or 19 years old, and Sam was about 17, one year younger to me. And ever since then, we became so close to each other. Just the fact that music brought us together, but I used to play bass and he used to play the drums. And we had a very tight understanding of the music. And that understanding through music uh, got us to know each other and as good friends and as brothers, you know. I, I used to call him Bashu and he used to call me Baru. So all our lives, We've, we've known each other as, you know, we've called each other by those names. Just a little bit, uh, our friend Emdor has uh, written down about Sam's uh, tryst with music, long tryst with music. I mean, I've known Sam for 42 years now. He formed the first band, Excellent, with his brother Danny, and Starbo Lalu in Jawai, and won the Rimpei Theoretical Beat Contest in Shillong sometime in 78, 79. He got recognized as a good drummer when he played in another beat contest organized again by the RTC in 1982 from a Jawai bass band called The High Waves. He joined the Shillong bass band New Era in 1982-83 and during this time he also sat in as drummer for Lou and the Great Society, alongside the then drummer of the Great Society, late Bert Samuel, at some of their gigs. He formally joined the Great Society in 
and did his first ever drum solo. I mean, Emdor remembers all these very clearly. He's been a big fan of ours and of the music for a long time, um, which was held in 84 at the Opera Hall in Police Bazaar. Around 85, along with Arjun Sen, Coco, and Ron, Ron Sen, he formed a short-lived supergroup called Kind of Bloom and performed two gigs in Nagaland. So along with myself and Ferdi, we formed, I, I still remember this, you know, because after the Great Society split up, uh, I took a break from playing music for a little while and I told them, you know, I just needed to be, my family was young then. And then after about three or four months, Sam came to me and he said, Baru, uh, you know, we all need money. <laughs> You know, so there's a gig happening, there's a fate in Jawai. He said, you, Ferdi, and me, let's form a band and let's go and play there. And I still remember this. I was living in Malki then, and he came. So I said, yeah, because I needed money as well. We all needed money back then. So we formed a band called Tom, Dick, and Harry. And that band was alive for about, I think, a year and a half, two years. And we played all over Jawai. We played a lot of gigs, and then later on, Herman, Herman Dingdo from Jawa, he joined us as vocalist. Tom Tick and Harry went on to become Mojo with Bob. <clears throat> yeah, Tom Dick and Harry was the forerunner to the formation of the band Mojo. Later on with late Baharji Lingdo, Keith, my brother Keith, and a host of other musicians like Amit Malik and uh, Rebor and uh, Sanju Chetri. So he played with Soulmates, he's played with Great Society, he played with Mojo, he's played with HFT, Fourth Element. And he's played in all over Megalai, he's played all over the country and outside the country as well. Uh, all I can say about Sammy, he was a very quiet, a very quiet person. Uh, he had a good sense of humor. And we understood each other, like many times when we would talk to each other, and we just have to look at each other, we would understand certain things that nobody else would, you know. I think that that came from playing together for so long. Um, and it's really crazy that, you know, I have to be standing here at this point in time, talking about Sam, but I know that I've been blessed with his friendship, with his uh, musicianship. And I learned a lot of things from him as a musician, as a human being. He was a good guy. And uh, he'll always be in my soul. Rest easy, Bachu. Say hi to Bob. Jawai, Lai Felix Nansky, Iwai Gipalogi Bachu, Kiblai Tem, Kiblai Shankalen Kalengari. But only a poor IP away to Jinwai. There's not much uh, for me to say. We all know Basam. And yes, uh, all of us, we have one day to go through this. But uh, we should not be afraid. We should not, uh, because there, there is always a beautiful life after this for those of us who believe. And well, uh, well I myself and my bandmates too. We all always had such a great time whenever we play with Basan. And yes, now, uh, whenever I play, you know, on stage, when I see at the back, I will not see Bashu anymore, but I will still remember him in all the good times we had. And uh, well, uh, this song, which I'm going to sing, it will remind us of that. Yes, uh, we feel sad that we lose a year and dear one. We will also have to go through this. But we should always look forward that there's uh, another life after this. So, if you know these hymns, you can sing along for Bashu. Precious Lord, take my hand, lead me on, help me stand. I am tired, I am weak, I am warm. Through the storm, through the night, lead me on to the light. Precious Lord, take my hand, 
lead me home when my way grows dear precious Lord living here then my life is so Precious Lord, take my hand and lead me home. There's a land that is fairer than day, and by faith we can see it afar. ตัวมันยังนุ่มหน้าเป็นปัตย์ไทยนี่ได้การการสาหะถ้าก็ต้องเอาจริงๆก็ได้ครับบัดเอ่อตั้งๆกระจิงลงหอมเปิ้ลจ
Dan dalam kipu aru Tengteng mengia pakta saya Nga aku masih kundam di sini Kipan mabas Tengteng Warakum Mailang lagi Tengteng ingin sudah Tumat Yai Yai mensi yang mengipar Kepat bahan Ini pun Hamlok serius Kepat katam Dia Hari ni Yak Zangpang Iwan kedua yang anak mengijim Malaysia Rajasthan Iwan kedua yang anak Yang bahan Bagus lain Bagus lagi pelat pisah benda macam dia Nah, mami dia membuat suruh muka You help semua more important than anything Oleh cakap pisah bom dia Tinggi ngilai selat setan Nia teks memang kapuar ni Bahagian dia mengilai atip di Tuan Negeri Sempang Nisi atik memang kapuar dan Kawai yang yang lah Dia memang rips Buat penyap di latan Buat elemen yang setuut Nombat kuat Pasung Nul mesyum We love you lot Pasung Thank you for the music Thank you for being there Bless you boy Check out
Some of you may not know, but uh, as a close friend, very close friend, close to 30 years I've known Basan. He was more like a, a brother to me. We'd meet almost every weekend, we'd be together. Bayandar, the late Balav, and uh, Rajesh, and uh, our friends who loved music. So we connected through music. And uh, what was amazing about uh, Basam was that he was so academic, uh, which some of you may not know, but it was wonderful discussing with him, uh, breaking down songs. Uh, he had such a good academic mind also. And his talent for, especially with fractions, was amazing. The most complicated rhythms and time signatures, he would solve them so easily. So that was one aspect. Then he would also like to watch the most boring programs on Dudashan. <clears throat> educational programs that too on science on agriculture and uh, you know space exploration and uh, the like so that was our friend uh, Basan and for every conversation that we'd have he'd always have a counterpoint and then the arguments would start and would uh, we would take off to the we hours and um, much to the annoyance of my uh, daughters uh, who would pass chits, we hate you Mama Sam, under the doors. So uh, we cherish all those moments and what a beautiful uh, human being he was. Never lost his school life, never seen Sam angry, except with a sound man. That was just once. Uh, beautiful person, uh, very uh, willing to learn, try out new food, willing to learn new things. In fact, he had just picked up swimming. Uh, Mdor and me would take him along and uh, show him how to float. So a lot of unfinished business with Basan. Uh, so thank you for ditching us also. So now it's just Mdor and me. So we'll continue going for our swimming trips and our, uh, our treks also, which we plan with uh, Basan. Then apart from that, I would also like to share with you, Sam was a core member of the Sepasin Edmunds Past People Association, batch of 83, 84. Balav, the late Balav and uh, Sam, they were like part of the house band. So, uh, I would just like to share with you, which sums up beautifully about uh, Bar Sam. I received this uh, email uh, from the batch of 83-84. So I'd just like to share the message with you. Many of us friends, no meeting, reunion, or get together was ever complete without the guitars coming out and music flowing freely till the wee hours. And as the evening wore on, the music got louder, the years fell away, and we were transported back to our teenage years. While the guitarist jumped and pranced about with gusto, somewhere at the back sat Sam, a peaceful smile on his lips, his eyes half open, as he soaked in the magic of the evening, quietly going about crafting his own version of magic on the drums. Over the years, we have met often, and Sam has always mesmerized us with his music. However, one hardly heard Sam speak. He was quiet, gentle, at peace with himself, reticent even, allowing his drums to do all the talking. And boy, did his drums talk. His drums spoke to each one of us, talking to us about our growing up years, about our first love, about the music we shared, cherished, and had grown up to. And while his drums beat, to, to a crescendo, Sam sat there, composed, genteel, humane. Music will perhaps not be the same again with Sam's passing, and as he travels to the world of the dreams, he leaves behind his memories, memories which will give us company for years to come, 
and warm up our hearts on many a winter night. And every time the dark clouds gather yonder across the hills in Shillong and the thunder rolls, we will perhaps look up at the skies and wonder whether Sam is playing his drums up there as he takes his rightful place as part of nature's own orchestra. Rest in peace. Goodbye, my beautiful friend. <laughs> Just 